A very good day to you. I'm Hank Gross, MidHudsonNews.com. It's Friday, October 1st. The news today brought to you by the Galleria at Crystal Run. A taxi driver was shot to death in the city of Newburgh last night. 51-year-old Jorge Arbeza of Newburgh died in the shooting just before 9 p.m. His brother, Mario Arbeza, told MidHudson News the victim was a resident of Newburgh. His brother is offering a $10,000 reward for information leading to the arrest of the shooter. At the crime scene, the windows of the cab were riddled with bullet holes. The nation's Purple Heart recipients were honored at the Newburgh Armory Unity Center last evening as hundreds attended a rally. Russ Vernon, the executive director of the National Purple Heart Honor Mission, said it was fitting to hold the event in Newburgh where General George Washington awarded the first badge of military merit, the predecessor to the Purple Heart. I take great pride in America and the American spirit and feel it important for each of us to take a few moments of reflection from time to time to understand how fortunate we are to live in the United States of America. This evening, we're privileged to have Purple Heart recipients from across our nation. It's fitting that this rally is being held in the Newburgh Armory Unity Center, the nation's very first Purple Heart Armory. Vernon pointed to two incredible veterans whose legacy are reflected in the event, William Kaplan and the late Senator William Larkin. Ulster County Executive Patrick Ryan unveiled his 2022 $351 million budget yesterday on its suspending plan dependent on a strong economy to help pay for programs that will benefit residents. The budget does not increase property taxes or lay off workers and projects conservatively, says Ryan, an 18.6% increase in sales tax and an occupancy tax hike of 43.8%. We're seeing tremendous economic recovery, said Ryan. All the indicators are very strong. A fraction of the budget, a little more than 5%, or $16.5 million, is being dedicated to establishing the Ulster County Mental Health and Addiction Recovery Center. Our most urgent priority, mental health and addiction recovery. We have to recommit and reinvest in that area. I mean, we've just seen the toll of the devastation of the pandemic combined with our most urgent priority, mental health and addiction recovery. We have to recommit and reinvest in that area. I mean, we've just seen the toll of the devastation of the pandemic combined with the twin epidemics of mental health and and addiction. And uh, we're really stepping up to meet that in this budget. Ryan says this is the most important component of the budget after Westchester Health Alliance closed its unit in Kingston to help with those issues. State Senator James Scovis is calling on the powers that be who are developing a congestion pricing plan in Manhattan to consider a dollar-for-dollar credit for drivers from Orange and Rockland counties. The purpose of the plan is to have commuters use trains and mass transit instead of driving into New York City. Scufa said his constituents are at a disadvantage now. We have to put forward some sort of accommodation, a dollar-for-dollar credit for anyone from Orange or Rockland counties that has to drive into the city for work and crosses the George Washington Bridge, crosses the Lincoln Tunnel, a credit against the new toll, the congestion pricing toll that they're setting up. And so the, the whole point here is that, first of all, we have no one-seat ride. We literally have no trains into Manhattan. Technically, we have trains into New Jersey. We've got a transfer to caucus, transfer at Hoboken. There's no convenient way to get into New York City. One long-term solution, Scoofa said, could be to revive passenger service on the former West Shore rail line, which is now used exclusively for freight trains. More news right after this. Find over 100 retailers allowing you to spend hours shopping safely at the Galleria at Crystal Run. Enjoy the big brands and the diverse selection of family-owned stores all in one location. The Galleria at Crystal Run offers dining options for everyone with Fuji 110 Grill, Allen's Mediterranean Grill, and Peru Cuisine. Discover the Mid-Hudson Valley's premier shopping, dining, and entertainment destination, the Galleria at Crystal Run. 
For more information, follow us on Instagram, Facebook, or visit GalleriaCrystalRun.com. A significant phase in the development of the new Bennett Park in Millbrook is underway as asbestos abatement and demolition have begun at the old Bennett College campus and asbestos abatement has begun at the Thorne Memorial School building. The work under the aegis of the nonprofit Millbrook Community Partnership is moving toward the vision of creating a 32-acre park on the derelict Bennett site as a green gateway to the village and transforming the Thorne building into a community center. Partnership spokesman Charles Pierce said raising the $20 million to complete the two projects is ambitious. It is one that we think is, uh, is doable, and we certainly think it is very worthwhile for the, not only for the village and the uh, Millbrooks and the town of Washington, but for, the, for the, all the area um, in central Dutchess County. Each building on the Bennett campus, except for the centerpiece Halcyon Hall and the old Hale House, will have asbestos removed and then be demolished. A 31-year-old Port Jervis man has been arrested following an investigation into a sexual assault at the town of Wallkill Circleville Park in March 2017. Wallkill Town Police charged Sean Ribeiro with second-degree rape when apprehended on Monday. He was arraigned in Newburgh City Court by Judge Anika Muhammad and released on his own recognizance. I'm Hank Gross, MidHudsonNews.com. The news today brought to you by the Galleria at Crystal Run.